Time is of the essence. Only 17 months remain on the roadmap, timelines before elections in 2024. I repeat what I had said at an earlier press conference, that 2023 is a make or break year, such that the decisions and actions that must be made now have to be made in order to pave the way for the holding of peaceful, inclusive and credible elections next year. Elections are not a one-day event, but a process that involves deliberate and thoughtful actions before, well before, during and after the electoral process. The process must have the full confidence of the South Sudanese people to make it a nation-building, not a divisive or violent activity. Simply holding elections is not enough. The credibility, transparency and inclusivity of the process is what brings legitimacy. This includes that political parties must be able to register and campaign freely and there must be a civil society that will serve as an extended arm for civic education and act as an observer watchdog of the process. It includes a media that can report on the process and give space to the variety of voices and opinions for voters to make informed choices. The war in Sudan dominates regional and global attention, while South Sudan bears the brunt of at least some of the crisis. Food prices have increased, reducing the ability of vulnerable households to access food to meet basic requirements, while reduced cross-border trade has led to localized scarcity of food commodities. The congestion and increased competition over scarce resources could exacerbate existing intercommunal tensions between the returnees and host communities and between some of the returnee communities. And this needs to be averted. UNMIS has intensified its patrols and reinforced its presence in rink to mitigate and prevent any outbreak of violence. I believe there will be an international willingness to support the peace process and the elections if there are demonstrable actions by the principal stakeholders in those elections and the creation of the right frameworks to allow for the receipt of such assistance. But key decisions about electoral, constitutional and security structures must be made urgently and these decisions do not require special additional financial resources. Success in this area will persuade donors and international partners that a peaceful and secure South Sudan is a viable place for investment and support.